Local health care providers have an important warning today about new guidelines in cancer screening. Joining us now to share what's changing is medical reporter Liz Bonus. Hey Liz. Hey guys, good afternoon and to you once again. Hard to believe that Sunday's March 1st and that kicks off Colon Cancer Awareness Month. The colonoscopy, as we know, is still the gold standard for screening for this cancer. The gastroenterology team at TriHealth, however, told me it's important for anyone with a direct family history of this disease to know that screening guidelines have changed a bit. They now suggest that if you have a direct family history, someone in your immediate family, beginning the screening at age 40 is recommended. If you are African American, it's recommended at age 45. And for those who are generally healthy, not in these other groups, it's still age 50. The goal, of course, to catch these cancers early. But when you find it early, it's so much easier to treat. We're getting a lot better at treating colon cancer, and Dr. Topa's right, we can take out large polyps, usually before they have a chance to grow into colon cancer, or sometimes we can take out a polyp and find there may be some cancer in it, but oftentimes we can get it out completely just with a colonoscopy. So I always try to explain to my patients, talk them through the process, and explain what's gonna happen. We'll have more from Dr. Melanie Green Sunday morning, 6 a.m. on what's happening in health. And if you have questions about this cancer or any other GI condition, she is accepting new patients now. It's important to have somebody to answer those questions. The goal, obviously, is to get the precancerous lesions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've f seen this cancer actually decline as we've started to see that that wasn't just a screening intervention. It was an intervention to actually yeah. catch the cancer while you were there. Well, I have to share. You know, I am in the high-risk group, and, and I have avoided wanting to go back because not just because it's unpleasant, but insurance doesn't pay for it all the time if you're not just going for a screening. And so I have all my friends who are doctors have like sat me down and said, don't be cheap. Because I wanted to do the just mail in sample mm -hmm. and they said, don't, you got to take care of your health. So your health I'm, is important. I, I, yeah, your health is kind of important, but I, but it's hard to do that. So I just want to share, you know, it's hard to write out the check right. and do it, but I, I um, have There's to. also something I should share with you having worked on the insurance side of healthcare a little bit called the complain and pay policy. And sometimes if you, if your okay. physicians get behind you and help you support that for you that is important, there are sometimes exceptions to coverage. The reason they don't want you to do the mail-in is that then even if they find something, you still have to go back for the other test. Oh, that's true. Uh, so that they're sense. just true. trying to avoid you having to do oh, something okay. twice, which still involves you know, a sense. fair bit of effort. So All right. we're still learning more about this, though, and I appreciate you just speaking up about it because yeah. at least it raises the conversation. It's easier to tell someone else what to do. Well, speaking of money, 